Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to show how to restrict access to our SFTP server by the individual user IP. In the previous video, we restricted at the server level using the WAF, AWS Web Application Firewall. In this video, we're not going to restrict just at the server level. We're going to restrict at the individual user connecting level. This isn't a very common use case, but it does come up in certain organizations where they want individual users to have different IP whitelists. So let's walk through how to do this. We're going to start in the Lambda function created using our CloudFormation script in the previous video for our custom authentication handler. If we scroll down to the code, we'll see first on line 10, we're getting the source IP by calling this event source IP. Where is this coming from? This is passed in in the event variable in the Lambda handler when we're calling our custom authentication handler with the Lambda function when we're signing in to our SFTP server. So we pull this source IP from this event variable that's passed in. Scrolling down, what we do next is first we load this response state by first getting it from the secrets manager. So we call our get secret SFTP input username. Here we're using Alex and John in the previous videos. We load it as a JSON, and then what we're doing is we're checking if this variable IP allow list is in the dictionary pulled from Secrets Manager. Then we get the IP allow list. We load it because it's just a string. We parse it by using JSON loads to parse the string as a list into a list of strings of IP addresses. And then we check at the source IP, which comes from line 10 up here that we pulled from the event argument. We check if it's in the IP allowed list, and if it isn't, then we return an empty dictionary, meaning we fail to connect. So let's go to Secrets Manager right now. We click into Alex, scroll down, retrieve secret value, and we can add that variable here. So let's go here, IP allow list. Now I called it IP allow list. You can change this to wherever you want. It just needs to be the same variable name as you have in Secrets Manager. So I'm gonna copy and paste, edit, add a row, put IP allow list. Now to start off, Let's just make it an empty list, just two brackets here, left bracket, right bracket. So there's no IPs allowed, meaning we shouldn't be able to connect at all. So let's save. If I go back, now I'm gonna try to connect. New session, Alex, log in. And it fails. Okay, let's go back. Now I'm gonna go to Google, go to what is my IP, copy the IP address that I'm currently have, go back to Secrets Manager, edit, and the IP allow list, I'm gonna put my IP that I just copied. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna go back to WinSCP, new session, and then log in. Great, works fine. One more test, if we wanna have more than one IP, we can edit this. I'm just gonna give it a random IP, so just put a comma, and add a second IP. Click save, go back, new session, and let's connect again. No issues. Great, going back. So for any user that you wanna have IP allow list, you can just add this variable here, IP allow list, and then put a list of strings of all the IPs that you want to allow. All right, that's it for this video. In the final video, we're gonna walk through how to set up automatic email notifications whenever a file is uploaded to the SFTP server. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.